glad to welcome to CFWE this morning, Mr. Paul Brandt. Good morning, Paul. Oh, good morning, guys. How are you doing today? Good. How are you, so sir? Good. I'm doing great. Had a great Easter. I I, uh, I saw someone uh, throw something up on Twitter that uh, because it was on April Fools, they were going to uh, hide the Easter eggs in the snow drifts without painting them. <laughs> and I, I thought that was the funniest thing That's I've ever a good heard. One. That was pretty good. But yeah, no, we're we're excited. New music coming on Friday, and and uh, I am I'm just absolutely stoked. It's been exciting to see the response to this new stuff we're putting out. Well, we absolutely love it. We got a sneak peek this morning and absolutely adore this new song. Oh, thanks. You know, I was I was um, I was writing with Seth and Ben uh, in Nashville. I, I hadn't written with them before. Um, super talented songwriters and just great guys. But it's always a bit weird when you're you know you first meet somebody and it's like okay you know let's write a song about our lives here you know and, and <laughs> real and, personal. <laughs> yeah, you know, and and I I think the easiest way to do it sometimes is to just start out with you know, kind of relationship stuff. So they're like, well, tell us about Liz and, you know, how you guys met and everything. And um, it, it really kind of came quickly after that. You know, I just, I, I, I respect her so much. And, and, you know, everything that, you know, uh, we have been through together, uh, it's, it's kind of crazy. I mean, we've gone everywhere from, you know, dating, getting engaged, moved to Nashville, you know, uh, have our honeymoon. About two weeks later, we're on a bus, and she gets on a bus with 11 smelly guys, and we're doing 180 <laughs> shows a year. And, and, like, we're all over the place. We were traveling the world. And now it's, you know, hockey practice and piano lessons and all the crazy stuff that you do when you're a parent. And, and um, it's just been amazing. So the song came together pretty quick, and it seems like it really resonated with a lot of folks out there, too. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. We had Paul Brown. To joining CFWE this morning. I uh, have to say congratulations uh, from last year. You were inducted into the Canadian Country Music Hall of Fame. Uh, what did the CCMA weekend mean for you that weekend there, Paul? Oh, oh man, it was it was just, um, for me, it just felt like a, a big party and a big celebration you know, for, for everybody because, I, you know, none of this stuff would have happened. None of the career stuff, you know, ever would happen um, if it wasn't for the support of people, you know, uh, like you guys. I mean, people who were at the CCMAs and, and um, have have been behind the music right from the beginning. Who let me do what I get to do, and and uh, I think I think probably the most surreal moment for me, um, Ron McLean, you know, from Hockey Night in Canada and Hometown Hockey. He came out and and he did the induction and and um, was the one who kind of announced it to the world. And and it was it was just I mean I I grew up you know proud Canadian you know watching hockey all the time, playing a lot of street hockey, um, and I, I'm not like don't worry, there is no chance of me ever getting any Hall of Fame or any award for anything to do with hockey. I'm a horrible <laughs> skater. Um, I, I joined a men's league when I moved back from Nashville and, and cause I, you know, I wanted to play but I'm at a point now where like I got good enough where if I score both teams cheer, like it's, it's pretty sad you know, it's like way, <laughs> way to go little buddy you know, um, but uh, to have Ron McLean there, it just felt like such a proud Canadian moment and, and uh, it, it's it's fun, you know I, I'm thankful I get to do what I do and, and uh, I always joke with people, it's, it's better than a real job and I, I mean I'm loving it I'm having a great time you know one of our favorite songs we were just talking about off air was uh Alberta Bound that yeah. song always gets us what is one of your more uh, you know songs that really relates to you the most well that you know I think that's probably the one I I, I would have chosen I mean it's always fun to play songs like or Convoy or you know whatever but yeah. I, you know Al Alberta Bound um I, when I was putting this project together, actually, you'll notice like this project coming out on Friday. It's a, a six-song EP, and I put it out. In, I'm going to have another EP that'll come a little later in the year. Um, this one is called The Journey YYC, which is a weird name. Um, and, and the next one is called The Journey BNA. And YYC and BNA are the airport codes for Nashville and Calgary. And so I was thinking to myself uh, as I was like taking this trip up the West Coast and thinking about music and what I was going to right? What if I wrote Alberta Bound in reverse? What would that look like? And then all of a sudden, the song pops into my head. And, um, and, and there's a line in the song that says, you know, once you take that trip, you ain't coming back the same. Mm. And, um, and, and for me, you know, I'm, I, I'm always going to be that Alberta Bound guy. Nashville has a really special place in my heart. It was my home for 10 years, and, and um, I wanted to take people through that journey um, of what it, you know, what it was like going down there, the things that I saw, the things that I learned. And, um, and, and so the title for this project was really kind of inspired by, by in some ways, Alberta Bound in Reverse, um, but also you know, this part one, part two of my life where it was like, you know, that first phone call that I got from the record company 20 years ago saying, hey, we think you're good and you want to try this. 
to moving back from Nashville and, and, and being based here in Alberta now. So I, I'm, I'm, it's very, very personal, and I'm really stoked to get to share it with everybody. Paul Brandt uh, joining CFWE this morning. Uh, Friday, August 3rd, you're playing a little show in Alberta called the Big Valley Jamboree. Yeah, I can't wait. You know, Big Valley has been a, a special part of my story, um, you know, right right from the beginning. I mean, we, we, we played there. It's probably one of the first big festival dates that, that I ever performed at. And, and I remember one year we weren't slated to be at, at Big Valley. Um, we were doing some other shows in Alberta, happened to be up. We'd been living in Nashville, and, and we happened to be up in Alberta when Big Valley was happening, but we weren't we weren't on the slate. And and uh, Lori Morgan um, became a bit notorious for a couple of years because she she didn't show up um, a couple of times in a row. And I got a call like this panicked call at the last minute from the organizers at Big Valley, going, "Look, Lori Morgan can't make it, and is there any chance you and the guys can show up?" And so I, I walked out on stage, you know, in, in, in Lori's slot, and, and I think the first line that I could think of was, I might not be as good looking, but at least I'm here, you know, and, 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 and people seemed to like that, you know, but it was a kind of a special memory, and, and I know, you know, poor Lori, I think she was having some health issues and, and wasn't able to make it, and I think she probably would have laughed at that opening line, too, but it was uh, a lot of special memories there, and I, I'm excited to go back and share this new music and, and all the stuff that people, you know, have come to know and love over the years, too. So it's going to be fun. We know we love you. We love your music and especially your brand new song, All About Her. And again, the new album comes out on Friday. It's yeah, going to be awesome. The journey, the journey YYC. So, however you're listening these days, you know, I mean, go, go uh, pre save it or download it or stream it or, you know, we'll carry your pigeon it to you, whatever you want. <laughs> but I, I, I just hope that you'll get into it. And, and uh, you know, I, I'm excited to share this with everybody. For me, you know, regardless of how people listen to music or what they're into, like, I, I, it's about making that connection. Uh, we've had people come up, you know, uh, after shows and even say, I don't even like country music, but I like what you do. Mm. And to me, it's all about that, you know. So I'm excited about this, this new song, and, and, and getting out there again to start playing for people. Paul Brands, a pleasure. And again, I can't wait for the new album out on Friday. So uh, Thanks so much, guys, for taking the time. And, and thanks for supporting the song. I appreciate it.